Welcome to the overview of Xfinity TV on the X1 platform, the future of awesome. The X1 platform is a revolutionary user interface and is compatible with certain types of cable set-top boxes, which we'll talk about later. The X1 platform is a cloud-based system, which means all the navigation, command and control is hosted similar to a web page. This means that the X1 team can make updates to the design and functionality much faster than with traditional guides and without having to push changes directly to the box. So first, let's take a look at the user interface and some of the neat and innovative features. You'll see that the X1 platform design is much different than the rest of our product line. It includes rich graphics, easy to use menus, and poster art to display all the content available from Comcast. Moving around begins with pressing the Xfinity button on the newly designed remote control. Pressing the Xfinity button will always get you to the grid guide, the DVR menu, on demand, apps, the search icon, and the settings menu. We'll start with the grid guide. The grid guide displays all the channels available in the channel lineup. We show the channel logo, channel name, and 14 days of content. Navigating is easy with the remote control, and you'll notice the information bubble popping up whenever you land on a program. To get for more information about the program, press the OK button on the remote. You'll see that in the example, this show is scheduled to air later in the day, but it's also available now on demand. You can choose to record it on the DVR or find information on upcoming episodes. You can even tell people on Facebook or Twitter that you like or don't like that show. As you can see, you can tell that even though we saw this program in the grid guide, we're showing everything we know about that program. If the customer has a DVR capable box and decided to record the program, it would show up in the DVR section right over here. The DVR section includes a record folder, which contains all of the shows that have been recorded but not yet deleted. This folder can be sorted by date or by title. To see what's going to be recorded later, we have the scheduled folder. Now, once a recording has been deleted, it moves into the deleted folder. Keep in mind that the recording will stay in the deleted folder until either the DVR runs out of space, the customer chooses to recover it, or permanently deletes it. That's it for the DVR. Now let's take a look at On Demand. Comcast has a vast On Demand library with access to thousands of movies and TV shows. The X1 platform uses the poster art for that program to make choosing what to watch very easy for the customer. As soon as you enter the On Demand menu, new releases are prominently displayed at the top of the screen. You can select any on-demand program and find out which versions we have and what the price will be. No more having to think about whether to go down the HD menu or the standard def menu. There is just one title with several viewing options. We also show content that's similar to the one selected, as well as the cast and crew. When viewing the cast and crew, we show what movies and shows are starring that person and when they're coming on. you also see a category called Extras. Extras are web clips about entertainment, news, and other topics that you can view right on your TV screen. Speaking of entertainment and news, let's hop over to the Apps menu. When we talk about apps, we're talking about an experience that looks great on a big television and is easy to navigate with a Comcast remote control. The X1 platform features a weather app with data from the Weather Channel. It displays the current weather as well as a five-day forecast. The city is defaulted to account location, but the customer can also change the city or town. The same goes for the traffic app. By default, it shows current traffic conditions for the city the box is located, but the customer can change it if need be. You can also create a route and see what conditions are like on that route. For sports fans, there's the Xfinity Sports app, which helps customers find games on in their lineup. We include the four major sports leagues, as well as college basketball and college football. If a game is in progress, it is highlighted and we can show the instant play-by-play -play of the game. 
This is very useful, especially if the game is not being broadcasted. Navigating through the app is easy with the Comcast Remote Control. The customer can also use their remote to launch the Facebook app. The Facebook app uses information from a customer's existing Facebook account to show what's happening on their wall. That includes recent posts, pictures, and videos. And although a customer can't post new messages to their wall, it's a great way to quickly check what's happening with friends without having to move over to the computer or find a smartphone while in front of the TV. Using the Facebook app does require the customer to have an existing Facebook account, which they can set up online at Facebook.com. Once you have account credentials, you can link your Facebook account by logging into the X1 platform web portal and linking up the account information. Each customer in the home can have their own Facebook account linked up. This works the same for the Pandora app. Pandora Radio is an online music service that lets you create radio stations based on your favorite artists and then brings back music that's similar in style. We display the album cover of the song and controls the pause and skip. Any changes made while using the Pandora app will carry over to the other devices where you access Pandora today, like a smartphone. As far as these apps are concerned, a user can choose whether or not to link up their Facebook and Pandora account and whether to enable pin access for it. A user is defined as someone in the household with a primary or secondary Comcast.net username and password. When selecting Pandora or Facebook, each user is presented based on the name assigned to their Comcast credentials. If a customer chooses to enable their pin, it will be presented here. The PIN is the first four letters or numbers of their Comcast.net password, as entered on their remote control. So for example, if the customer's password is football, they would enter foot, or 3668 on the keypad. Another way to leverage a keypad is with search. The X1 platform harnesses all of the data we know about a show, movie, or web clip, and then gives you the ability to search across that broad set of data. So, you can use your remote to enter a search query for an actor, actress, show or movie title, genre, and sports team. The X1 uses a predictive search method to try and guess what you're looking for based on the combination of letters and numbers coming from the remote. Similar to how the apps pin works, Entries on the remote contain letters and numbers, and the search engine predicts what's being entered. Let's try it out. Let's say you just heard about this great movie with Clint Eastwood, but you can't remember the title. You can enter Clint in the search bar by pressing 2, 5, 4, 6 on the remote, and the result set starts to populate. And there's Clint Eastwood. One neat benefit is that you may start out looking for Clint Eastwood, and realize you'd rather watch the movie The Blind Side. You can. It's that easy with search. You can also generate a search request just while watching TV without having to go to the search icon. Just start typing. So now that we've covered all the great features, let's take a look at some new navigation built into the X1 platform. While watching any live show, Press the right arrow button on the remote control to bring up a mini guide of everything on right now. You can scroll up and down, and by pressing OK on a particular show, change to that channel. Or, you can press the right arrow instead and see what else is on for that channel. Next, while watching any show or movie, pressing the last button on the remote will bring up the recent history bar. From here, you can go back to one of the last nine things you've watched. If it's an on-demand movie, you can pick up right where you left off. A DVR recording? Same thing. If the selection was a TV channel, it will tune back to that channel. Also, all of the entries can be cleared by pressing the Clear All button. The recent history bar can be disabled in the settings section, so let's go over there to see what else you can do. The settings menu allows a customer to change most of the settings on their set-top box. This includes turning on parental controls, controlling the brightness of the lights on the front of the box, 
changing the output resolution, enabling closed caption, and controlling preferences like the info bubble or that recent history tray we just talked about. There's also the ability to change the amount of time before the screensaver comes on. The screensaver, you ask? Yes. If you accidentally leave the guide enabled and walk away, the X1 has a screensaver to make sure the images don't burn into the TV. Also, if necessary, the customer can reboot their set-top box from the settings section. Lastly, the X1 care team continually produces help videos to show customers how to perform certain functions on their set-top box. Those help videos are also found in the settings section. Here's a quick tip. You can enter the word help on the remote control to quickly go to the help videos. All right, so this concludes the product overview. Now let's talk about hardware. The X1 platform is compatible with certain cable set-top boxes, specifically the XG1 DVR and the RNG 150N P2 digital set-top box. Both boxes use an internal modem to connect to a cloud-based service that displays the X1 guide. All the navigation command and control is based in the cloud. We frequently update the guide so the customer will see improvements without having to do a thing. Pretty neat, right? Okay. First, we're going to look at the XG1 DVR. The XG1 is a 500 gigabyte DVR with options to display the X1 platform guide in both widescreen HD and in standard definition mode. It has all the standard outputs, including HDMI, component video, and coax. A customer using an XG1 can record two programs on the DVR and watch a third program all at the same time. As you saw in the overview, there are plenty of features on the X1 platform, including search, the recent history tray, video on demand, and apps. However, it's important to know what apps are available on the XG1 only when used in high definition mode. If the customer configures a box for standard definition, the apps menu goes away. The XG1 DVR is also designed to work with the new Comcast XR2 remote control. We'll talk about the remote control in a moment, but for now, let's look at the other X1 compatible box, the RNG 150N P2. The RNG 150N P2 digital set-top box is also designed to display the X1 platform guide. Like the XG1, it works in widescreen high definition mode as well as standard definition mode. It has the same outputs, including HDMI, component video, and coax. There are a few features, though, from the XG1 that are not included on the RNG150N, such as the DVR and a few of the apps. The RNG150N, designed for customers who are ordering a package that is X1 eligible, but may not need the DVR. Eligibility and pricing will be covered later, but just know that the customer can enjoy the benefits of the X1 platform on either device. So let's talk about remote controls. As you noticed, the X1 platform cable set-top boxes use a new remote control called the XR2. This remote has a new design and is less cluttered than our standard remote. The XR2 will only work with X1 platform boxes. One unique feature of the XR2 is that when used with the XG1 DVR, the remote can work without having to point it at the box. We call that RF mode. Of course, the X1 platform boxes are compatible with the Xfinity TV app, which lets you remotely schedule your DVR and search for content using your mobile device. In addition, there's a new X1 remote app specifically for the X1 platform boxes. The X1 remote app lets a customer completely navigate through all of the features and functionality on their box. They can scroll through the guide, change channels, select an on-demand movie, launch apps, and do most of what the physical remote control can do. There are some additional features, such as shake to pause, search, and quick links, which take the remote to a whole other level. Now that you know all about the X1 platform, let's wrap up by going over the primary differences between X1 and the standard Xfinity TV product. As you can see, 
Both the X1 platform and our standard product both have HD and SD capabilities. Both services offer the convenience of a DVR, caller ID on the TV, and access to on-demand. The X1 platform goes above and beyond with additional features not found in our standard product, including apps, predictive search, the recent history tray, and the X1 remote app. That's it for the product and the hardware. Thanks for your time.